Do you want to know how we can set up computer name and IP address in Hyper-V Core? Then this is the video for you. Just check it out. Hello friends, this is Joy Banerjee and welcome to AKD Support. And if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe it. What you need to do is you need to just hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that whenever we are launching a new video, so that will be reached to you right away. So let's move to the video now. Okay, so in this particular video, we will do some initial configuration of this Hyper-V machine. But we need to make it note that we have installed a stock Hyper-V machine, right? That means uh, Microsoft is giving it uh, free out of the box and it only holds the Hyper-V role, okay? And it's a pure core machine and it is absolute drill down, okay? So drill down means it doesn't have that much uh, MMC snap-ins as well, which we have normally, okay? So let me show you how we can configure it. So for that you need to do a control all that del and then you need to select administrator for the first time it will ask you to set the admin id so let me set that okay i will click this or i can hit enter you can see uh, the password is changed okay so uh, you can see there are two uh, uh, two window is open right the first one is called uh, CMD which we you know it is our old uh, command line tool okay so it's very uh, good for us from where we manage all the things okay and the second one is SC config okay so this is again a configuration window which gives you a very easy method to configure this particular system okay so by it I will show you how you can configure it Okay, and before that, I will show you one more thing that you can <coughs> you can also open a PowerShell as well. Okay, so for that, what you need to do is I will uh, type start PowerShell. I can also hit PowerShell, but it will give a PowerShell window within this particular within this particular window. But I would like to work with uh, CMD separately and PowerShell separately. So I will hit enter, it will open a PowerShell window, okay? That's great, okay? So let me uh, just show you this about this particular SC config, okay? Let's say we, we configure the server name first, okay? Let's say the computer name. So what I will do is I will select number two and hit enter. It asks me to really give a new name. So new name would be our, this is our Hyper-V machine. So I will put it at Hyper. Hyper V, okay, and make it at zero one. Okay, so I will hit enter. It says uh, this this requires a reboot, so I will click yes. Okay, so now you can see the name is changed. Okay, what next we can do? The remote configuration is enabled, but somehow once you give the IP address, that might not ping. So I will show you what you need to do for that. Okay. So uh, the fifth setting, you can see the Windows update is manual. We can leave, leave it at this moment, okay? Download and install updates, we can leave it. Let me enable the remote desktop, okay? So for that, I need to select seven, okay? So I will select seven, I will hit enter. It says uh, you want to enable or disable. So we want to enable it, so we need to keep it as E, capital E, and then enter, okay? So how you want to enable it? The first one is it's giving you a, a network level authentication more secure. So I will go with two, which is less secure. Okay. So I will select two and hit enter. So it says, uh, okay, the remote desktop is currently running and it has been enabled. Okay. Okay. And next is most important part is setting the network setting. And uh, let me uh, show you the other, other one as well, like 9 uh, dating time, uh, 10 help, help improving uh, product with uh, CEIP uh, not participating. So we need to, we, if you want, you can participate with uh, Microsoft as well. Uh, log user off from 11, restart the server with 12, shut down the server with 13, and if you want to exit to command line, you will hit 14, okay? So let me show you a number 8, okay? So this is number eight. So it is giving you uh, IP address and about the uh, network card. Okay. 
So let me show you. Uh, if we do uh, IP config, okay, and you can see it is picking up the IP address from where, okay. So if you do IP config slash all, then you will see that DHCP enabled yes, and it is picking the IP address from there. Okay. Let's say we want to keep uh, give an IP address manually. Okay. So I will uh, keep a note of this IP address, which says one zero two. Okay. And I will also uh, like to remember my IP address of eighty, which is one zero three. I guess. Okay. So for that one, I will add it on uh, this uh, DNS server setting. Okay. So let me put this here. I will select this here. Okay. So these are the settings which I need to put. That is 192.168.0.102. Okay. So uh, here, uh, let's say I want to change it. Okay. So I will change it with static. Okay. So I will select 11. This is the index uh, number. So I will select 11. I will hit enter. Okay. So now it will give me options to uh, do you want to set the IP address uh, as a static? I said yes. Okay, so I will select one, hit enter. So DHCP or static. So I will go with S that is static. I will hit enter. Now I need to put the IP address. So let's say our IP address is 192.168.0. Let me give you a IP which is which is which is 160 okay and hit enter subnet would be 255.255.255 okay dot zero I will hit enter I need to define the gateway so that is 192.168.0.1 okay so I hit enter it's done so let me set the DNS as well for that I will select two hit enter I will put the DNS name like DNS IP that is 192.168.0.1.0.3 enter okay it says preferred is set and if you want to set the other one that is 8.8.8 .8 .8, okay so I will set that 8.8.8 .8 I will hit enter click OK okay so I will select 4 to return to the main window and I can again go to 8 to check the IP address is set or not so you can see our IP address is set okay okay now I would like to check that I'm able to ping this particular IP or not okay so for that I will go to my AD box okay so now I would like to ping the IP address that is PNG space 192.168.0.160 okay. but you can see I am not able to ping it as of now okay so what I can do I will do a control C and set minus T to continuous ping to check okay so let me go back to the server and do a quick setting and see after that can I able to ping or not okay okay I will go to my upper B box I will select and I will enter to cancel this I will go to uh, number four for configuration management okay I will select four I will hit enter here you can see um, just configure configure the server response to ping okay so I will select three okay so I can select three I'll hit enter it says allow yes it's done okay and now I would like to check is it pinging or not and now I can see the server is pinging now so it's great so what we have done so far is we have done the configuration and of the initial configuration of the Hyper-V machine we have given the IP address we have given uh, the computer name and also we have enabled the pinging also we have given the network address okay statically Okay, so I uh, hope this particular video is informative. I will see you in the next video, which is having some new informations. Okay, see you.